Hi everybody, what we've got here is a build that I've been trying to get working for a really long time. Uh, it's one of my favorite ships, the T-16 Skyhopper, and it's got a, a truly unusual shape that proved to be really, really challenging to get to fly uh, properly as an airplane. This one took a lot more experimenting than usual, um, lots of little tweaks here and there, uh, adjusting motor angles, motor height, CG of the aircraft, uh, all sorts of different things to get it to fly somewhat normally. Now, uh, as, as I usually do, I did uh, a, a prototype version first uh, without any of the details in place. And I used this to, to really adjust all of the, the different ways that you could set it up. So I'm using the electronics out of uh, E-Flight Ultrix. So that normally has uh, two motors for differential thrust and then uh, a set of elevons in the back. And you can run attitude control so you can have it naturally try to maintain pitch and roll angles of the aircraft. And this this poses an interesting challenge where there's, there's not really a convenient spot to put the the motors on the, the plane. So you ideally you'd want them to be sort of through the center of the aircraft, but there's there's no obvious spot to put them here uh, where they have enough separation to be able to give you yaw control. So I ended up putting them as close to the center as possible, but still out here on the lower wings. And if you look at it from the side, there's not a ton of wing cord here. So the aircraft is really short coupled in pitch. And what that means is it's very sensitive uh, very sensitive in the pitch axis. And with the, the motors reasonably low here, so the, the sort of all the drag forces are acting sort of centrally on this, this main body, and the, the you know, natural center of gravity of the aircraft tends to be around here. So if you have this motor providing thrust down low, it naturally wants the aircraft to, to pitch up. So I, I made a bunch of different changes with motor position ended up adding some counterweights down at the bottoms of the wing sections so that uh, as you gave throttle, the aircraft didn't have a natural tendency to pitch up. Now, once I, I got this all working here, I, I built a second one that has all the details in it. So it has all the scribed in panel lines, all the stickers. These are actually, this is actually the sticker off of the uh, original three and three quarter inch scale uh, Power of the Force Skyhopper. Uh, painted it all up, uh, did a bunch of weathering detail with, with oil streaks and, and, and weathering on the panel lines. Added the little pneumatic cannon on the bottom. And then you can see the electronics install here. So I don't know if you can see it carefully there, but the, the flight controller is actually mounted at a slight uh, negative angle so that when it's at its sort of natural trim state, it's at the the angle of attack that the aircraft needs to be at in order to maintain level flight. I usually fly it in in uh, a stabilized mode where the the elevons are, are naturally trying to maintain pitch attitude and roll. Uh, to, it'll it'll do loops and rolls. Um, but you have to be really careful that when you come out of those maneuvers, you go back into the stabilized mode. Um, otherwise, the aircraft has a tendency to, to sort of fully depart controlled flight. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way it flies now. It, uh, it actually, it, it, it's probably one of the, uh, the more interesting looking aircraft I've built so far flying around it, it, you know, uh, with the, the stabilized mode on, it, it really doesn't have any bad uh, flight characteristics. You can, you can just sort of steer it around. The, the big fin area up here actually makes for some, some really interesting turns. It almost looks like a fish sort of <laughs> swimming through the sky. Um, and, you know, you can fly real close to the ground, sort of, you know, make it look like you're, you're doing those, those canyon runs through Tantooine. So as with all the builds, you know, if you have any questions about how it went together, um, you want to try one and make one of your own, I'll, I'll probably post plans uh, for this one. It's a relatively simple build. 
uh, you know, it's this one is all three millimeter Depron with uh, two layers uh, laminated together for the wing sections. And, you know, you just sort of build up the this sort of pyramid that is the fuselage and then the the you know wings just glue onto that. There's a couple of dihedral braces that go in through here, but otherwise it's a uh, you know it's a, it's a pretty straightforward build. Uh, not a lot of of challenges with putting it together, and then you can sort of you know go as far as you want on the detailing side. This one I, I did a little bit more than usual, um, you know, because it's it's really one of my one of my favorite Star Wars creations. Uh, I've I've always loved the the T sixteen. Uh, I really loved, uh, you know, the bonus levels in Rogue Squadron where you got to fly it around. Uh, it's it's really one of one of my favorite Star Wars craft. So thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And I've got a few more projects underway, and hopefully I can get another video up soon. Thanks.